Got him. Dude, we're catching good greenies. <laughs> I found a spot with some chunk greenies over here. My gosh. There we go. Good bluegill. I could see him 12 feet out there coming from my bait. Good morning, what's up everybody? We're gonna be doing some pan fishing from the bank today, some sight fishing with a rig that I like to use all year, but especially when they're spawning, which was a little bit earlier in the year, but you can still find a ton from the bank and get on them. We're gonna be reviewing some products today as well. We're gonna be reviewing some sunglasses from Wear Oyo. I know these ones look awesome. These will not be the ones I wear when I'm fishing today. These are just everyday glasses. I know, I look really good in them. You don't have to tell me. But we're gonna be putting on the sport glasses, the polarized, these are polarized as well, but um, the sport polarized ones for fishing. And that way I'll be able to see the fish a little bit better through the surface of the water. And we'll also be reviewing today the cast cray jig heads this is a 1 16th ounce chartreuse so i'm gonna be using this and live worms and i have single-handedly caught probably three or four hundred fish off this rig in just the last two weeks and that's no cap my everyday carries right there really nice sunglasses i will have a link in uh, the description and for your first order you can get 10 percent off your first order on the website just look when you go on the website for the little pop-up bubble really cool little leather carrying case um with the everyday carries also obviously comes with like the cleaning kit and all that good stuff sport glasses they normally come in a two pack um get a couple different colors couple different frames whatever and they come with uh bands to put on them to keep them on your head when you're out kayaking or running around doing something active so that your glasses don't fall off uh, they come with a cleaning kit as well and they come with a little face mask which is super cool nice little carrying case for those as well bam Really nice looking glasses there. They match my shirt perfectly. I did not do that on purpose. Things are looking good. These are polarized. I will be able to see the fish a lot better through the surface of the water as opposed to me not having them on. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab the worms. We're going to grab our cast crate jig heads. We'll also have a link to uh, those in the description below and a 10% discount code for these and anything else uh, on castcray.com. Fishing stuff, outdoor stuff, hunting stuff, sweet apparel and swag. Let's get fishing and stop talking and put these products to use. See you guys at the water. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch off. I got night crawlers. I like to use red worms for this too. I just kind of try to hook it on there once around the tip. Hook it on there maybe another time or two. That way it won't get ripped off super easy. And then a tail about like this. It's pretty good. Maybe a little bit shorter. And again, that's on that 1 16th ounce cast crate jig head. Got my glasses. My wear oyo sport polarized glasses so I can see. Let's get on them. Yep, good clarity, I can see all the way out there. There's a fish going towards my bait right now. He just hit it. Got him. And that's how good these things are. It's a bass. <laughs> I could see him 12 feet out there coming from my bait. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but I could see him 12 feet out there coming from my bait. Nice little bass right there, not bad. All right, little bass there. We're gonna go ahead and get that back, but there's fish number one, y'all. Hell yeah, he's going for it. He got it. Bam, what did I say? <laughs> Sight fishing is great. I'm telling you guys, when I take my glasses off, I lose several feet of visibility, both out and down. And so that's just going to make a huge difference when you're out here sight fishing, if there's any clarity in the water at all. And this is for, this isn't just for beating the bank with worms like this. This is for bass fishing, trout fishing, all types of stuff. I would argue it's almost more important there. 
to be able to see a little bit. There's a little greeny, not bad. There's one. Got him. All right, look at that. Slamming him. <laughs> Got him. I've been seeing that bass. He kept kind of coming up and chasing it. And then finally that last time when he started chasing it, I just let it drop and die. And he smacked it. A lot of times they'll turn around. But hey, ate my whole worm. Look at that. <laughs> hey, bank fishing with worms isn't just good for bluegills anymore. <laughs> yeah, second bass we've got. Nothing big, but it's fun catching these little bass on ultralight. This little bass. Oh, a snake. <laughs> Whoa. A little snake too. Two in one. Got it. <laughs> he got it. Green sunny. He's pooping. Ew. Gross. Believe it or not, I actually can't see super well out there. Just shadows. Oh, there's a shadow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just saw a shadowy figure coming at my bait. Another green sunfish. Not bad. Nice. <laughs> Got a bass. Maybe they're fired up before this storm, but like I said, last couple times I've come here, last two times I've come here, both times I've got over 100 fish. And that's like, I don't know, in three hours. Two and a half, three hours. Nice spots on them. Nice markings on this one. Whee! Cool. I'm gonna have to come back out after the rain and see if, oh, there we go. See if we're able to get on them. There's another fish. Oh, that's a much better green sunfish, dude. That's an actual chunk. There's some really big bluegills in here too. I shouldn't say really big. There's some good, healthy bluegills in here too. I know for a fact there's some over a pound. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's a chunk. Another decent greeny, dude. Really? Straight into the freaking algae? Dude, we're catching good greenies. <laughs> I found a spot with some chunk greenies over here. My gosh. Oh, it did get hit. <laughs> we had a bunch of weeds on there and it still got hit. Poor fish. There we go. <laughs> bluegill. Good bluegill. Not a big one, but a really good colored one. Nice. Okay, guys, you see that lightning right there? That's the second or third lightning strike we've seen. I'm not ready to end this video. I would like to have you guys see some more catching. So here's what we're gonna do. It's supposed to rain, storm for like four hours. Just got hit with some rain. I'm gonna let that guy go. We're gonna run inside. All right, y'all, we got lightning, it's not safe. Safety first, no need to get struck by lightning catching, you know, eight inch bass out here. So we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna try back out here after the rain and storm if I can, see if we can get on some more fish and film a little bit more. If not, come back out tomorrow or something and uh, film a little bit more for you guys. But so far, really liking these things. They really increase the visibility. Uh, if it were a sunnier day, you got that sun to play with the polarized lenses, you get even more of an effect out of it. We've had overcast out here, but I'm gonna get going. I'll be back. All right, see you guys back on the water after the storm. See if we can catch anything. Mm -hmm.